All right, so I got sent this video a while back and basically it's a video by Southern Utah University trying to convince you about why an art history degree is a good idea. And at first, when I got the request, you guys know I try to keep my content on this channel mostly educational. Once in a while, I'll post a funny video, you know, making fun of useless degrees or bad investments. But typically, I try to stay away from like roast videos or drama videos. But honestly, let me know if you want me to make more of those types of videos because I feel like you can make it educational somewhat. Like you can learn from other people's mistakes, basically. So yeah, gently tap the like button if you want me to make more videos like this. So I decided, you know what? They put the video out there they're trying to convince me that this degree is worth it and i consider myself to be very open-minded so let's go ahead give this video a watch and see if they can make some good points and change my mind at southern utah university everything we do is focused on you the student we believe that our entire life's work is helping you discover your purpose in the world to help you find your passion your talent we've created this series on majors who are we spotlighting today, Ellen? This is Spotlight on Art History with Dr. Andrew Marvick. All right, so a lot to unpack here. They say they're totally focused on the students and helping the students out and showing them how to find their passion in life. So if this were actually true, the university would not be charging a large amount of money for a degree that statistically has been shown to not lead to good employment outcomes for most of the students who graduate with it. AKA, this degree is not a good financial investment. Because if you go to college at 18 years old, you typically spend $80,000 and go $40,000 in debt on a college degree. That puts you in a massive financial hole that many people are not able to escape all throughout their 20s and even their 30s. Many end up working multiple menial jobs that don't even require a college degree just to get by. Basically, when colleges do this, they are ruining the first half of people's lives. So if what this guy said is true, then he needs to present undeniable proof that this university is having really good outcomes for their students that study art history. So let's watch the video and see what he says. Andy. Yeah. Tell me about your field and what you love about your field. The study of art, the history of art, and the making of art are all connected. And it's really about responding to your world visually. Um, it's, it's, it's the process of seeing and then reacting to what you've seen. Um, or to looking at how others have done so. It's the process of seeing and then reacting and then looking at how others have done so. So you're saying I should spend $80,000 to learn the process of seeing and reacting and looking at how others have done so. Got it, sounds totally reasonable. So what types of personalities or what types of individuals are, are really drawn to this area of study? Art and art history are inextricably connected. Yes, yes, you, you already said that. So there are really several very different personality types oh. that stand a, a good chance of success in the general field of art and art studies. Define good chance of success. What are we talking, like a 1% chance of becoming a professor so you can teach other suckers, I mean students, art history? Maybe another 1% chance you become an art curator that helps corrupt politicians launder money and evade taxes? Show me the numbers, man. Show me the proof that you're actually helping people land these unicorn non-existent jobs. If you want me to spend $80,000 in four years of my life to go to your university and get this major, you need to provide me with some concrete evidence that it's going to help me achieve my financial goals. What, what types of jobs do art historians generally go into? What it really it turns out to be is an excellent springboard for uh, office work, uh, work in business, uh, work in journalism, work in any area where uh, uh, communication is key. Um, people who go into art history as a major will be writing and will be making videos and responding to artworks in uh, oral presentations with other students. Um, so they'll be getting a lot of experience at doing the kind of thing that every for-profit, not-for-profit business in America needs most, which is uh, young professionals who can communicate well. 
All right, so this is basically another red flag. You hear this with just about any useless degree out there. They claim that they're gonna teach you all these soft skills like communication, for instance. Then you start working and you realize the type of communication you were taught in college is not the same type of communication you need to know for the real world. And you probably would have been much better off attending an organization like Toastmasters once a week for free. And even if they do teach you communication skills, you have to ask yourself, is that worth $80,000 and four years of your life? The answer is no, of course it's not. There are many other ways of learning these types of skills other than going to college and getting a useless or semi-useless degree. Also, when you hear people making these wishy-washy type claims like it teaches you communication skills or critical thinking skills and all these other things that can't be measured, this should set the alarm bells off for you because anybody out there could say they taught their students communication skills or critical thinking skills, but how in the world would you ever be able to to prove that that's either right or wrong. They can't. So I'm still not convinced that it's worth my time or my money. I still haven't heard any concrete facts or numbers. She tossed him a softball question and he totally missed on it. Is there anything else that you think that we need to know about um, history? All right, perfect. There we go. She's giving him yet another chance to provide proof of his claims. Let's see what he says. Well, I mean, perhaps you might want to know that at the general education level, and uh, here we're talking about, say, the 1010 uh, intro to visual art mm -hmm. course, um, we're now uh, reworking that, retooling it in phenomenal new ways. I think the most important thing we're trying to do is in reintegrate um, creative projects into what has, for the last 20 or 30 years around the country, generally uh, been uh, confined to art history lecture environment. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think one of the wonderful things about our new program in general education at SUU is that we're enabling uh, students from various backgrounds with various interests to find a way into art and design through doing, not just through reading and listening. So basically what he's saying here is that students that go into art history are also gonna be doing art itself. So isn't that just an art degree? <laughs> What? I still have no idea how that is a selling proposition that's going to convince me to do this degree. That's fantastic. That's great. It sounds like you have a real passion for what you do. I have a feeling that this lady senses that she's in the presence of a bull artist, uh, no pun intended. Uh, she knows the degree is BS for like 99% of people. At least that's that's the vibe I'm getting from her. All right, so I'm going to make a flow chart here for you to decide if art history is a good degree for you. So should you major in art history? First question, are you a trust fund baby? The answer is no, don't major in art history. The answer is yes, Sure, go ahead and major in it. The end. All right, so if you're one of those unfortunate souls that did major in art history and you can't get a job and you don't know what to do, maybe you're thinking about going back to school, spending more time or money on another useless degree, or maybe you don't wanna to go to college, I do have a solution for you because this is something that I get all the time on this channel. People, when they're 22, 23, 24 years old, they went, they got a useless degree or a semi-useless degree. They finally realize that they're wrong and they wanna see what their options out there are. There are certain careers out there that don't care that you got a useless degree. In many cases, they don't even require a degree at all, yet they have a ton of demand and they're high paying. Right, here's a video of a girl I interviewed that got into a $100,000 plus remote job in about one and a half months. Here's a bunch of other interviews that I did. I have an entire playlist. For instance, digital marketing is a great career for artistic types. I did an interview with an artist who regretted getting her art degree, but she managed to transition into digital marketing. I did another interview with an actor in LA who used digital marketing to increase his chances of success as an actor. So if you wanna skip all the pain of getting a useless or semi-useless degree, or if you already got a useless degree and you really regret it, check these out. And I will put a link to a free digital marketing masterclass from the company who actually trained all of these people and got all of them their jobs. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So this was the video in case you want to go look at it. Be nice, right? Don't be too mean to them or anything like that. But yeah, uh, suffice it to say, they certainly did not convince me to get this degree. I did not hear any convincing arguments or any proof whatsoever that people are getting a good return on their investment from this incredibly expensive degree. So yeah, check out this video of the artist who is able to transition into digital marketing right here. I think you'll really enjoy it, especially if you're an artistic type person, and I will see you next time.